Peace. It's your boy, Romelo Scuds, E. Russ, Outspoken 520 Boston. We have some unfortunate bad news, and it involves Alexander Usyk, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. But on June 1st, he will be no longer undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Um, he scored his biggest victory of his career when he beat Tyson Fury this past Saturday in a split decision. But the IBF sanction body had other ideas. Um, the IBF just stripped uh, Alexander Usyk as Flip Harkovich is the um, mandatory for the IBF title. But he's fighting Daniel Dubois. He was the um, IBF mandatory to um, Alexander Usyk beat him last year. Um, they will be fighting June 1st for the vacant IBF um, heavyweight championship of the world. What do I think about this? Well, I think the sanctioned bodies, especially IBF, it stinks. It stinks so bad. Um, Alexander Usyk is not really a star outside of boxing. Um, the hardcore fans, the boxing junkies, the boxing pundits, the people who all into boxing knows who Alexander Usyk is. He is star in that element. But outside of that, he's not a star. Um, they did the same thing with Terrence Bud Crawford last year. We beat Errol Spence. Um, as Errol Spence was the IBF welterweight champion when uh, Bud beat him, basically he inherited the mandatory. The mandatory at the time was Jerome Boost Ennis. That's why he's champion now. But back to the topic. Um, Alexander Usyk, I mean, we all know that he beat the Giant. He beat the big bad wolf to be undisputed. It haven't been an undisputed heavyweight champion since 2000. And we all know he did that. And IBF just had other ideas. And it sucks for him. And it sucked for uh, Tyson Fury. Because Tyson Fury got a uh, immediate rematch clause in his contract to make the fight happen again. Running back. The fight was that close. Um, it deserves a uh, rematch, but guess what? It's not for the undisputed heavyweight championship in the world. Now, it still will be unified. It still will be for the WBC, the lineal, um, the WBO, WBA. It just won't be for the IBF anymore because it will be vacated. Um, as uh, Flip Harkovich and Daniel Dubois fight June 1st on the 505, um, Match room card, which is a good card, by the way. Uh, with uh, Frank Warren versus um Eddie Hearns, uh, fighters going 505, which is a good idea, but I think it's terrible. I think it's really terrible for Alexander Usa. He came to celebrate a full 48 hours to tell something happened like this. And IBF has always been a strict uh section body. But it, it's a it's they don't seem to amaze me that Canelo holds the WBC title in 168, but David Benavidez is his mandatory. WBC always play favorite to the people who get the WBC strap, but they're not doing this job like IBF. I like the fact IBF is on it, but the man just won it two nights ago. That's the part that kind of like. It's shaking my head. You know what I'm saying? Because the man just fought. He just put it on the line this past Saturday and beat the man who who is the man in the heavyweight division or even in boxing. And you just take it away from him two days later. <laughs> that, that's that's crazy. But if Tyson Fury would have beat uh, Alexander Usyk, this wouldn't be an issue. This would not be an issue. This... It will it will be ran back in October, you know, part two, and Tyson Fury be undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, but he lost. Now everything's in shambles. It's it's a popularity contest. That's what it is. Um, they're not gonna tell you that, but you gotta figure it out and do your homework on stuff. And that's what I do, and I know it got something to do with it, popularity. So, but Another thing before I sign off, I have a question. 
everybody everybody should saw the fight by now or it's on YouTube or you can watch the uh, top rank highlights or you can watch the zone highlights by now. Now, I have a question. Everybody know what Usyk did in, the, did in the ninth round. Everybody knows by now. Now, let's play a little role reversal. If Tyson Fury would have did uh, to, to Usyk what Usyk did to him, would that be a stoppage? Yes or no? It's not a... a I don't want to know an explanation. That's just my question. If Fury would have did the same thing Usi did to him in the ninth round, would that have been a knockout? Would that have been a stoppage? If that was Tyson Fury that was doing the damage? Let me know. Comment down below. I'm Romello Scuds, E. Russ. Subscribe to the channel. I'll Spoken 520 Boston. I'm on YouTube, IG, Facebook. Follow me. Hit that bell button to subscribe to the channel and get notifications whenever I do new content. But this is your boy, Romello Scuds, E. Russ. Peace and blessings. One.